Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about TF-IDF. What is TF-IDF? TF-IDF means Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency. So why TF-IDF? It is used to find how relevant a term is in a document, and a word relevance is the amount of info that gives about its context. So what is Term Frequency? TF, term frequency, measures how frequently a term occurs in a document. Why term frequency? Well, if a term occurs more times than other terms in a document, the term has more relevance than other terms for the document. So here is the example when the input sentence is a new car, used car, car review. Well, which word is the most informative word in here? Well, we can just use the TF score here, meaning how many times the word occurred in this document. Uh, we have seven words here, and we have one A here. So A, we have the TF score as one over seven. How about the new? New, we have one new here, so it's one over seven. We have multiple cars here. We have three cars, so the TF score for car is three over 7. And the other words, we have the 1 over 7 here. That's basically TF score. And here we can know that the car is the most informative word in this document. But the TF score has a drawback. For example, with this sentence, a friend in need is a friend indeed. So here the TF score, you can see the A has 2 over 8 and the friend has 2 over 8. Both have the same score, which is the most uh, relevant words in here according to the TF score. But it does not make sense. Well, intuitively we know that the friend should be the most informative word here, but it is saying that A is also having the same score here. So A is one term occurs frequently in any document here and less relevant to this, each document. So we want to lower the measure if the term is just a frequent term to any document. That's why we want to bring IDF here. So what is IDF? IDF means inverse document frequency. And the equation is like this. Log total number of the documents over the number of the documents with the term in it. Well, we have the advanced equation like this, just adding 1 in the denominator for smoothing. It is to avoid division by 0. But I'm going to just use the low total number of the docs over the number of docs with the term in it in here. So here is the example of the IDF score. We still have two examples here. The document A is a new car, used car, car review, and document B is a friend in need, is a friend indeed here. And here is the IDF score for each word. So we have two documents here, A and B. So nominator here is 2. And for example, A, we have A in document A and B both. So the A's IDF score is just 0 because it's log 1 here. Well, about the new here, the second word is new. We have two documents, so nominator here is 2. But we have just one document having new here. So the log 2 is 0 0.3 here. That is the IDF score. So TF IDF score is just TF multiplied by the IDF here. So here is the chart for the document A and B. So let's just take a look at TF IDF score here. From the A document, a new car, used car, car review, the most informative word is car with the score 0.13. That is the TF IDF score. Let's take a look at the document B here. Document B has the friend as a most informative word as 0.08. 8 here. As you can see here, the A is just 0 in the TF IDF score, while the TF score was uh, was the same score for friend here. So by using the TF IDF score, you can just uh, we can lower the frequent word which is not relevant for the document and can have the real relevant score uh, for each word in this document. Well, that is the TF-IDF. Uh, in sum, the TF-IDF is to find the uh, uh, relevantness uh, for that document, and uh, you can easily find which word is the most important from the document. That's it, and thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.